Hey everyone and welcome back to Peck Pong, channel where I talk about matches that I play, things that I do to try to get better, and some things that might help you get better as well. Today again we have a, uh, a match review between me and uh, Jeremy Hazen. He's a 2600 uh, player from Canada, um, very good player. He's a kind of defensive player slash offensive when he wants to of course, um, but yeah. Let's uh, let's get right into the match and uh, let's talk about what he does to uh, win points and what I did to try to win points. So first off, I think yeah, he's a defensive player uh, for the most part. He he's very consistent. Let's say that. I don't want to say defensive and pin him to one category because he did show some good signs of offense, uh, very strong. Um, but for the most part, I feel like he's very comfortable uh, to play defense against people and then win the points with them uh, missing. And I would say his serves against me, he did primarily topspin uh, to get into a nice clean topspin game where he could uh, play the rally and win the points. For me, my serves, I, I really just tried to mix them up uh, like I usually do and try to get my forehand in play. And I felt that my spinny forehand loop and my spinny backhand loops were definitely working against him, at least in the beginning. Uh, he had a very hard time controlling the spins on those, and that uh, gave me a lot of points right away. One thing I noticed is um, in the comments is that you guys really enjoy small tactical tips for serving. And one of them that I would like to share that I, I like to do, and it really works a lot, and you'll see it works um, in my matches, is that I typically do my backhand serve, and I do like a side spin, a side under, uh, I do long ones, I do dead, um, but then I, when it gets to a point where I really want a good point, I do this super heavy backspin. And I don't normally do this because, I don't know, um, I don't, it doesn't really seem to work earlier in the game, but when it, when it comes time, you kind of train your opponent mentally to, to expect a certain amount of backspin. But when you give them that super heavy one later on in the game, they pretty much <laughs> always put it in the net. And I'm not sure why, but it, it seems to work. And uh, and if they do keep it on, they usually push it long because the backspin is so heavy that it really kicks off the racket. So coming around 8-8, eight, 9-9, eight, nine, nine, uh, that really heavy backspin serve, I can get, almost guarantee that they're gonna put it long so I can get ready to make a good strong opening loop. Um, and if not, they usually push in the net. Um, and sometimes I do it twice in a row and they do they put in the net again um, and then follow it up That's a good time to do your uh, dead serve as well because now you've put in their head that they have to really worry about that heavy backspin So that's a little tip that if you uh, want to take it and run with it um, You can it, it really works for me and yeah as the match progressed He got used to me using my forehand a lot and so he started to uh, use that against me and run me around, like put it, put it down the line, or put me super wide in the in the for, in the backhand corner. So I think moving forward, I need to be a little more strategic sometimes about when I decide to stay in backhand and use backhand, and when I try to take uh, forehands. And uh, brings up a, a new a new concept that I feel is is important is uh, that maybe I should uh, learn to instead of playing one backhand and then stepping around. I should learn to play one, two, or three, and then step around, um, similar to a Zheng Wujin or a, um, a Timo Bull, obviously uh, kind of reverse it because um, he's a lefty player. So definitely do some case studies on those two players because I know they do like to turn around the corner and get their forehand in play, um, and they have to be smart about it. So definitely something I, I feel um, is important for me because I win the points by using my forehand. and. Um, if you're not clever, they can use it against you. I think I should have explored more of using my backhand flip from the forehand corner because he was pretty pretty dead set on using his forehand topspin serve to my forehand short corner. And I, I remember winning a few points uh, by using my backhand turnaround. And I don't know why I didn't do it. I, I guess I just have to be a little bit more brave and uh, go for those because I was, I was definitely winning the points. So something to remember for the future. Another thing that I'm kind of working on in my game is that I'm trying to, uh, when they push short, I'm trying to give a little bit more action on the pushes. Um, sometimes I feel like I come in and I give them this dead push 
and I really feel like their options really open up when they get a ball that's dead, especially when it's a little bit high. They can kind of flip with a good placement, or they can drop again short, or they can even cut it long. Um, if I'm able to put a little bit of action on the ball, like a little bit more backspin, I feel that it's a little bit shorter, a little bit spinnier, and their options kind of go down. So definitely something that I'm working on in my game is these drills where I serve and they push long or short. And if it's short, I, I really work on uh, making a good cut to uh, the short, short middle or something. And it really seems to be helping, uh, but I think I, there's room for more improvement in that area. Yeah, that's about all I have to say about this match. Um, definitely a fun match. He's a really good player. Uh, a lot of things to learn. Uh, I don't get to play too many lefties, so um, yeah, I really enjoyed this learning learning experience. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the in the next one.